in this video, I'll show you different ways you can bridge funds to the Linea blockchain with as minimal fees as possible. There's many bridges available, so let's go over the fastest, easiest, and cheapest options that I know of. And welcome back to RankFi, where we explore crypto together. So let's jump right in. So you want to bridge funds to Linea. The prerequisites you're going to need are two things. Number one, a crypto wallet, such as MetaMask. I assume you already have this set up. If not, go set up your crypto wallet. And number two, you're going to need some Ethereum. Linea uses Ethereum to pay for gas fees. So we're going to be bridging over Ethereum in this video. Once you have those things set up, step two is to choose a crypto bridge. There's a few options and I will put all of the official links in the description of this video. Now the best options that I recommend are number one, Rango Exchange. This is the best option if you want to bridge funds across 60 blockchains and it's also an aggregator. So it finds the best routes by checking hundreds of bridges and DEXs to give you the best fees. Option number two is called RhinoFi. Now this one only supports 15 chains, whereas Rango supports 60 blockchains, but RhinoFi is easier to use and a little bit faster. Transactions are under 60 seconds and you can still send funds between lots of popular layer two networks. And the third bridge we're gonna be looking at is the native Linea bridge. If you wanna use the bridge from the official Linea team, this is the way to go. However, they only support the Ethereum mainnet so you will be paying much higher gas fees versus the other bridges I mentioned where you can use cheaper chains such as Binance Smart Chain, for example. So again, you can click the link in the description to go to the official link and let's show you how to use Rango Exchange. You will connect your wallet in the top right corner. I have MetaMask, so I'm gonna connect the MetaMask here. Bridges are very easy to use, so you're just gonna click in the to field. I'm gonna search Linea and we wanna make sure we're receiving Ethereum because again, we need Ethereum to pay for gas fees. And then in the from field, you can select any blockchain where you have a uh, crypto so, so I have some money on base. So let's go from base to Linea. And let's say I want to send over 0.01 ETH. Rango is going to check the different routes across many different blockchains. And this has a direct route using Stargate from base to Linea. You can also click this refresh route button if you want it to find more options. But I guess for Linea, it's only showing this one option here. And we can see the time it takes and the estimated gas fee. If everything looks good, you just click the swap button. It's showing that it's going from my base wallet to my Linea wallet. So I'm going to confirm the swap and then approve the transaction in my wallet. As we can see, the gas fee is only 92 cents here. I'm okay with that. So let's click confirm. And now it's sending it over. In the meantime, if you're unfamiliar with Rango Exchange, they have over $2.6 billion in total volume, total volume bridged. And I've used this platform many times without issues. And it's good because it supports more blockchains than any other bridge that I've found. And not only does it support like Ethereum layer twos, it also has non EVM chains. So you can send funds from even Bitcoin to Ethereum, Tron, and it also has Solana as well and the Cosmos ecosystem. So it connects the most blockchains and finds you the best routes, which is why I like it. If we click on view details here, you can see what's going on and we can see the transaction was successful. It didn't take very long. And now if we open my wallet and go to Linea, we can see the funds have arrived just like that. Now the second option is RhinoFi. This is also a large bridge with over a million accounts and it has fast transactions and lots of volume. Using RhinoFi is basically the same thing. You're gonna connect your wallet. I have MetaMask here. And the first time you use it, you're going to have to authenticate your wallet. Again, a link to RhinoFi will be in the description. I'm gonna show you how this works as well. So here we're just signing a transaction to prove we're the owner of the wallet. That doesn't cost any gas fees. Then click authenticate your wallet and enable L2 access, sign the transaction. We're gonna skip that. We don't need to give them our email. And now our wallet is connected. We're gonna just type in Linea here, type in base. Say I just wanna send over a couple bucks here, bridge, initiate bridge. I have to switch to the base network, switch network. And the gas fee here is only five cents. Confirm. And I'm gonna fast forward a little until the transaction is complete. Oh, never mind. That's how fast it took. Last but not least, we have the native Linea bridge from the Linea team. So when you go on here, you can click native bridge, connect your wallet in the top right corner. And like I mentioned, this only lets you send funds using Ethereum mainnet. It doesn't support multiple blockchains like Rango, for example. Now I don't have any ETH in this wallet, on Ethereum mainnet, 
but the fees are usually 10 to a hundred dollars to bridge funds whereas when you can use other chains it'll be like a dollar or less so keep that in mind that's why i don't recommend this bridge but that is an, another option for you now once you have funds on linea you probably want to start using the ecosystem so here are some good resources for you. You can go to this URL here, defilama.com, and find a bunch of different applications on Linea. Once you scroll down, you can see the top dApps filtered by TVL. So we can see there's lending protocols, options exchange, DEXs, SyncSwap is a popular DEX. Resource number two, if you want to get the potential Linea airdrop, you can go to my YouTube channel, scroll down here to the airdrop guides, and I have a nice Linea airdrop strategy here, where I also share a checklist of my tasks for the potential Linea airdrop. And lastly, resource number three, you can go to this URL here to see the Linea ecosystem and the hundreds of applications that are on it and start playing around with that. You can also use the filter here. So if you want to see the bridging protocols, click bridge, and you can see tons of bridges available here, some of the ones which I mentioned. Again, everything I mentioned will be linked in the description if you wanna find the official links and more resources. I'll also put a link to the blog post here if you want more information about Linea and the bridges that I mentioned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.